What is up, YouTube? We are headed to Tom Wood Power Sports of Indy. We got a call yesterday that they got a package delivered. So they're waiting to uh, uncrate it until we get there. But uh, we're headed there now. Go ahead and turn this around. We'll now. So we're headed to Tom Wood Power Sports. They got a crate delivered. I guess it's something big. I don't know exactly what it is, but they told me I had to get up here to uh, for the uncrating. So we're headed up there now to see what's in store for today. Look at all this, I know. Apparently we're supposed to be getting snow because there's so there's much freaking salt, salt. I don't know, snow, ice, something. So we're headed up here now. We're just gonna skate on this uh, ice for a minute. Look how big this place is. Oh, and they added the, I didn't know they added the BMW motor ad up there on the roof. That's new. Okay. Yeah, I'm super excited. Let's see what they got in here for us. See if it's, I don't know if it's sitting out yet or not. Oh, look at this place. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, we're up here at Tom Wood Power Sports. They told us to come up here. We'll see what's in store to for today. For us, the women. Tom Wood Power Sports of Indy, guys. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, and they do have it sitting out. So is this what you brought me up here for today, then? Oh, yeah. This this crate here. Do we get to peek inside yet, or do we get to wait? Got to wait. Sneak peek. No, we can't look in there yet. Got to make them wait. Got to make them wait. No sneak peeks. Four hours to open this crate. F figured Friday the 13th or something. That's scary fast and brand new. It'd be a good day, right? What would be a scary fast product? I mean, you know that the new double R has always been king of the mountain since it hit the track. and. Seems to destroy almost any animal it finds on the street, so I'm, I'm thinking that's what's in the box, but uh, you know, time's gonna tell here. I'm Kurt, BMW Motorcycles of Indianapolis. This, this is Trent, and uh, we got something special in this crate today here. I think we've all been anticipating the release of uh, the new model year 23 S1000 RR uh, with a host of, uh, of upgraded features, new improvements, and so forth, so I think, I think everybody online and in this room has uh, got their heart in it, beating out of their chest to see this thing. So yeah, super excited about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't be so what do you say? Let's pop it open. Let's let's see what she's made of. black punisher model and what i like what they done with that is the winglets are painted on yeah. this model yeah and they've got the winglets and it looks like it's got a bit of a bit of an uh improvement in the front end right here you know it's a little compressed from being in the crate they got to shorten them up to fit in the box to come across the pond but you know uh man this thing looks fabulous phenomenal I, I, even better yeah. and New engine covers. I'm sure there's a host of new things that we uh, we should probably introduce to everybody here. So, uh, wow, I'm 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 just kind of at a loss for words here, guys. The uh, never ceases to amaze me how they improve on something that seems so perfect to begin with. So, um, glad we got our buddy here, Stephen and Katie, uh, that M1K guy and. The uh, guys, be sure to check out his channel. He'll do a little bit of a deep dive into this thing as well. And uh, we're glad to see this guy here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, I'm Kurt at Tom Wood Power Sports, aka BMW Motorcycles of Indianapolis, and uh, this is Trent. And well, guys, let's let's get this thing out of out of its box and move it on to the service department. Take it, take a closer look at it. What do you think, Trent?
Awesome. Let's do it. Let's move over. That way, if it scoots while we're trying to get it out, we don't look like fools on the camera. Or anything. Uh, I'll be the first time. Yeah. <laughs> You're always out. Come on. I'll, I'll stand over it while you dump the pro. It's crazy that those like cheap little straps is all that holds that freaking thing on there, huh? Four of them. Pretty confident, aren't they? Well, that's the reason why they have. Them. Yes, and their fail, their fail rate's pretty, pretty low. Well, but they put your levers right on this bike, Stephen. Like, yeah, there. This thing's freaking beautiful. Alright, so we'll pick we'll pick back up on the noise in the camera here. We'll head that direction. Get air. Maybe. It's a brand new 22. Over to the brand new 23. Hey guys, we want to go over some of the key features and differences in between the 22 and the 23 bike. They did upgrade the aerodynamics on the bike. So now we have canards, which is going to give us a lot more downforce. It's going to help us out while we ride the bike. They changed into a DTC, which is a dynamic traction control on this bike. It's going to help us out with our spirited riding in and out of the corners. It's going to give us a little bit more leeway of getting in there hot and getting out of it a little bit quicker. They did change out a couple of key features on the bike, so they blacked out the engine cover. We've got the rear section that's blacked out now. And uh, do you have any different options that you were thinking about that they changed on this bike first? No, there's a, there's a few key features from the technical section that, uh, that they really, really did some improvements in the cylinder head to, to cover up with the, what they're doing with the M1000, uh, give, it, give it a little bit quicker intake flow in and out. Uh, they still have all the all the throttle mapping, and I believe they've added the slick mode now. Yeah. So uh, for the guys that are going to put it on the track with a the slick, uh, there is there's a throttle map for that. And it still has the the wonderful gear shift assist pro. Um, uh, there are just a ton of, uh, of reasons why this bike is going to go faster. It's going to handle better uh, with the with the flex frame improvements and. I think just learning everything they have from the M bike and, and applying those things to the S, uh, it's it's just a phenomenal improvement that they made. To, like You're I telling said, me so. every bike is in spec framed? 
That's right. That's right. Awesome. It has an M spec frame on it. Um, wow, sure. We, maybe we ought to go through them individually, one by one. Let's try it. What we'd like to assess is going to be the new triple tree. Uh, aesthetically, they did change it. They made it a little bit thicker and they went over to a more rigid design that's going to help us out for stiffness and corner and the bike. It's going to be very flat in the front end. You don't have any of the winglets. Then if we jump over to the new bike, the 23, it's going to give you a lot better aerodynamic on the bike. Hey, so we took a look at the front. Uh, big improvements in the back. It was one of the first things that I noticed when we took the covers off of the crate. So uh, this is a bike with a passenger kit as well. Uh, passenger seat right here. No solo seat cow uh, with this model. So uh, re remove similar. Just put the key in in the lock right here and pull the seat off. And there's a data port in the back as well as a USB port for powering up uh, whatever device it is you need to power. Uh, it's a little restricted to get to the electronics and so forth if you wanted to remove the mud guard and, and uh, tail lights and turn signal kit from the back uh, for competition use but let's see how that compares to this one. Hey guys, it's going to be way easier to get the competition ready or race ready with this bike. When I take this cow that's included in the purchase of the 23, you don't have to buy this as an accessory or an extra. Uh, it opens us directly into the rear end of the bike, which is going to give us all of our plugs and easy access to electronics on the back of this bike. You're going to be able to unplug it and get this bike track ready in the matter of minutes. Or you can do a fender eliminator kit, anything that you'd like. What do you think about this windscreen on this M spec double R over here? I really don't know what to say about it other than I got an appropriate size double bubble on this side, I'd probably get underneath. Yeah, yeah you're going you're gonna to hide from the wind a little bit better with that guy. Yeah, no, no, no problem at all. I, I'd definitely be able to tuck in on that. There's also some aesthetic things I would like to talk about, the new gills that are on the bike. Yeah, those are much different than the previous here. It looks like they have some embossments on there. What, what does all that say? Oh, yeah. We got brand new embossments on it. It's gonna have all your R's onto it. Uh, and it's just a way better looking of a bike. The other ones are gonna be these puny little things that don't cut much air. They just stick up right onto the side of the bike. Yeah, and the engine covers, they have kind of like the, the standard magnesium look to them as to where it really looks like they made some huge improvement to uh, matching the rest of the finish work on the bike with the black engine covers. Same material, uh, better appearance. Yeah. I just can't believe all the upgrades that they finally did on this one third model, but it's just an excellent time of year. Now they have the listen brakes, they made improvements to the engine and aerodynamics. Uh, these bikes are, are option built, uh, like any BMW model. So, We'd like to invite you guys into BMW Motorcycles of Indianapolis to learn a little bit more about this bike, have an experience with it, make one your own. I'm Kurt. This, this is Trey. Trey. Thank you guys. <laughs> That's great. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video on the brand new 2023 S1000 RR and getting a side-by-side -side look from the 22 to the 23 and comparing the differences and showing the differences and all that stuff hopefully you guys enjoyed that just get one last look here before we head out and then after this clip i will be adding quite a few different photos in showing off uh, closer pictures and stuff of the bike as well we'll just head over through here also show off what they have over here what bikes they have over here and we'll give you one last look at the 22 s1000 there's a ton of different gear and apparel here for you guys at tom wood come up here check them out they're the only bmw dealer in indianapolis
And if you don't see anything here, they can definitely order it in and make sure they get it for you guys. Let them know you support the channel and save like 15% on your gear and apparel. Look, 23 looks so much better than the 22. Twenty three slowly growing on me. Even that tail and the front end on the winglets looks so much better. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow us over on Instagram. And enjoy these next few clips of the 2023 S1000 Double R.